crazy. There we go. Being a Warriors fan can be a shared family passion. For the Lee family, that's definitely the case. It probably started over 40 years ago when we first came to this country uh, from Hong Kong. And they came here and they didn't have anything, but they worked, you know, all the way up to the top. I was a young child and I remember going to the first game with my father. Just as Eddie Lee shared a passion for basketball with his father, so did Leslie Sosnick. Part of what he taught me about basketball or helped me to learn basketball if it was toward the end of the game. And he would put out his hand and he would say, well, they're going to inbound the ball here and it's going to be passed to this person. And he would explain to me exactly what the play was going to be. And he was usually pretty right about that. Beyond the knowledge that Leslie's father left her, he also left her with special memories that she'll keep forever. In 1975, my dad celebrated his 48th birthday. So 1975 was the year we won the championship. And my dad's younger brother called the Warriors office and asked if possibly he could get a Warrior uniform that he would like to give to his older brother and for his 48th birthday. So we got the uniform, or my uncle got the uniform, had the number changed, and so my uncle had my dad's age put on here. And then this was the warm-up jacket that the Warriors used. And on the back, my father's name, and then little basketball shorts, because in those days, they were the shorty shorts. And so with my, my our last name also. Now, we don't play much basketball, besides just you know shooting some hoops in, out in the front yard, but uh, much more of a spectator for the sporting events that, you know, that we can get to. I go like everywhere. I fly to LA or Chicago and maybe even go to Canada. For Yuki Nagasawa, her experiences attending Warriors games are a unique story to share as she is visually impaired. So I memorize all stations. I check the station online first and then, you know, and I memorize, I count, and then memorize everything. Otherwise, I'm gonna pass my stop. In this way, actually, people can see that I can travel independently. Hi there, we're back. I got a camera with me this time. I didn't do it. <laughs> Hi there. Uh, How are you? I'm great. Let's go, Myers. Oh my gosh. You got it? Oh my gosh. Thank you. This is Michael. I'm going to turn you over to Michael. Okay, okay thank All right. you. Okay, take care. Thank you. You know, now he's 81 years old. He, he couldn't go to a lot of games, so he, he doesn't walk very well, but he still has interest to go. I think it's hard to, to get that feeling if you're not there. So I think watching from TV and, and being there, it is, it is very, very different. You never know who you're sitting next to at a Warriors game. Those who sit next to Yuki get to share with her the experience of taking in a game in an entirely different way. Tim Roy, the radio play-by-play -play announcer, he does the excellent job of calling games. Curry off the screen, takes a three, straight on. Go! So even though I cannot see, I always bring the radio and he really, his explanation, the clear voice, that really make me excite me, and even though I'm visually impaired, I can enjoy the game. In some regards, I'm not even sure if it's all sunken in yet, because it's been so magical. It's been a magical, magical season. For Leslie, the passion that she has for the Warriors is something that keeps the memory of her late father alive and this season has brought back a lot of magical memories for her. We got to share the championship season together, and it was just a wonderful experience to go through that with him, and especially because three years or two years later, he passed away at a fairly young age. So to have that memory with him, and now here we are 40 years later, and to be going through this with the Warriors, and there's a good possibility that this could be our championship season. 
These types of memories are what the Lee family is hoping to create and celebrate for years to come. The way that he took me to the game when I was, you know, uh, very young, and I did the same with my daughter when she was young, started this uh, tradition, and I think one day when she has you know, children of her own, that, that she may do the same thing, to be very close to, to, their, to her children. I want other blind and visually impaired uh, fans to know that, you know, we can enjoy games by using every sense we have, so we don't have to actually watch the game. We can listen to the game, and then we can enjoy with others, so that's I want them to know. And when I first started going to games, of course they were old enough to be my parents. Then they became my equal age-wise, and then all of a sudden I became old enough to be their mothers, and now I'm old enough to be their grandmas. So I, I think a grandma loves all her grandchildren. So I love, I love all my warriors. I don't have a favorite. I'm hoping when I'm 90 years old that I'm coming to Warrior Games with my cane or my walker, but that I'm still, that I'm still coming.